Hello and welcome back to Appalachia. Uh, we are here getting ready to start the farm. Y'all said, go ahead, get the New Holland. Get, get moving, get cowing and sheeping. So we're gonna get cowing and sheeping. We're also gonna get pigging. Uh, okay, so, there we go, get inside the truck. First things first, let's go over some of the uh, rules we're going to be adhering to. Uh, first is, I cannot reset anything, and that means when I buy it, I've got to, I've got to drive it to the location. Now, it was, it was stated that if it's not a street legal piece of equipment, I should not be allowed to drive it on the street. So, it means you've got to get transport equipment. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, so that is one of the rules. Uh, another rule is no tabbing to vehicles. I was told that this was my pig, so I'm checking this out a little bit better. Um, I was told no tabbing to vehicles. So... Oh. Huh. Phase through. Whatever. Um, I'm cool with that as well. Um, does this... Oh, there are my piggies. There's my oinkers. Ah, hey guys. How's it going? Alright, we're gonna have to do something about them. Thank you, uh, uh shoot. I should have written down your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out where my pigs are. All right, so no tabbing. And the one that I'm going to go with is whenever possible, I'm going to drive in cab. And there's actually a couple reasons for that. One of the reasons is it's a little bit lighter on the, uh, the fraps capture to drive inside. Second reason is it's more difficult. Third reason is it's lighter on the fraps capture. I realize I said one reason twice, but it's actually a really good reason. The heavier the fraps capture, the shorter I have to keep the videos because I only have so much hard drive space. So, um, what was the other? There were some other ones. I don't remember now. Huh. Oh, well. All right. So let's, uh, let's jog in here. I did have somebody... Uh, message me and say no course play uh, uh, I don't know about that all right so let's buy oh uh, only modded vehicles was the other one okay whenever possible I will only use modded vehicles if there are there are some cases where I might not have a mod in here if that's true I'm using the in-game um, but let's start with misc and the cane load loader because you can't go wrong with the cane load loader. <laughs> Next is we need to grab oops, mowers. Now someone had suggested that I only do old time equipment or or something or precision equipment I didn't understand what you meant by precision equipment and I'm not doing old-time equipment because I'm driving a Ford F-350 so sort of not working right off the bat uh, right I want tear up mower I want the butterfly and the front and then we'll go tractors and we're going down and getting that uh, 8970 New Holland. There we go. That should get us started. Yeah, if I can get out the door. All right. Okay, Ford, you got your work cut out for you, my friend. Yeah. Uh, let's hook up to the trailer here. Now I can actually use this next camera here. Let's 
very helpful for this. Now, if I had a uh, manual hitch mod, that would be awesome, but um, it conflicted with just about everything. So uh, I had to do without. All right, let's get over here. Lower the ramp. All right, that looks good. Let's hop out. Yep, all right, good. Run over here to the New Holland. Start her up. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, we got that. Is it up or down? It's up, okay. Which direction are you facing? You're facing that way, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Hook up. Yeah. Um, transport. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now let's see how the Ford handles this. This ought to be fun. Huh. I'm wondering about this approach angle. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. We made it. Uh, can't tell if I'm all, well, no, I'm not all the way on. Okay. Oh, crap. Is that in the bed of the truck? No, it's not in the bed of the truck. It's kind of stuck, but I think I can, I think I can manage. Uh, um, yeah, this might be, this might be a disaster in the making right here. Okay, so I'm going to do this from outside because you would raise those ramps from the outside anyway. Right about there. Okay. Into the cab. Ooh, this is going to be fun. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. Lock the load. Lock the load. Make sure. It's still back there. Does that mean it's sliding? Okay. So, uh, oh. Oh. So, okay. Lock load. All right. Lock load. Oh, there's no load because that's the tailgate of the truck. Okay, so... Load is locked. All right, let's go. Jeez. Uh, I gotta drive slowly here. Uh, yeah, we made that. All right, here we go. Ah, thank goodness for diesel power. Still have, still have it back there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do I still have it? Yeah, I still got it. Okay. No traffic. That's good. Turn on my blinker. Off my blinker. <laughs> All right, barrel across the bridge. Presumably, I uh, presumably I still have a tractor back there. That is the presumption we're going to make until we find out otherwise. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. I think. Uh, yeah. I'll be quiet, Rooster. 
Yeah, driving a little bit into the bushes, but that's all right. Jeez. Fences. Okay, here we go. All right, so our field is right, not this field in front of us, but let's the corner here. Okay, I'm going to unload here on the upper farm area. All right, it's, it's, still, it's still back there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the outside view in order to lower the ramps. Nope, lower the ramps. Okay. Now, I'm going to unlock the load. Start him up. Come on, come on, get off of there. Uh, all right. There, we'll sort that out in a minute. All right, now we got to sort this out. Uh. Raise the ramp. Can I? Okay, what about? Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorta. Of. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Don't be like this. Come on. Ugh, great. Really? Well, I solved one problem, created another problem. Right, we'll sort that out in a minute. Toe chain mod. <laughs> Uh, toe chain mod. Okay. Okay. All right. I wonder if I'm going to fix that. I wonder if I can just sort of sweep the truck with the, the mow deck, maybe? You watch, I'm going to end up with a giant pile up over here. Oh, wait a minute. Did that trailer accidentally... Oh, I see what happened. I think I know what happened. I bet you if I clip the front of the truck, it's going to continue being stuck to the to the trailer. I bet you it has engaged the trailer's uh, hitch script. Yeah. So this is one of these moments where you have no choice but to reset because the mod's very own script is engaged. And... Yeah. <sighs> what was that about the no reset rule? Yeah, I'll just leave that mess there. I'll deal with it in a bit. All right, let's go to our field here. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit of weight on this tractor here. All right, so we need to get out of the mower. We need to. Put it in field position and attach to PTO. Um, do I t conditioner conditioner on is what we're going to do. Yeah. All right. So back here. Oh, I need to right there. Deactivate transport. All right. 
Now, we go back here, we're going to attach the PTO. Is there anything else I need to do back here? I think, oh, what? Is that something? No. Let's get inside. All right, so I can lower the mower. All right, I don't want to raise my auto swappers. I want those on. Front mower, I want to lower that mower. Okay. So we're going to turn on the front mower. Turn on the rear mower. And here we go. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. So we need to collect plenty of grass for the sheep. And someone told me because of the water mod, I actually, I actually have to water my animals. And that's cool. I'll pick up a water tank as well. I was going to say with the Ford, but the Ford is screwed up. I'm going to leave the Ford for now. Y'all tell me, because it's actually stuck on the, the mod script, do I get my Ford back by resetting along with my cane trailer? Or did I just lose it? Y'all get to tell me that. Um, vote away, but um, be nice. <laughs> Imagine yourself in my position right now. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, okay, so we need to pick up a trailer for the grass because we're going to have to collect our grass clippings. Um, I know you guys said that there was a storage location over there. I know. But I don't know. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with that storage location. I guess I could grass it all or something. What? I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly don't. I know that there's grass and straw and forage, I think. I don't remember. Honestly, I, I just don't remember. I'm not sure what the, all that is about. Um, oh, let's check. Have our chickens done anything? No, because they don't have any wheat or water. Okay, so we have to grow some wheat for the chickens. This is going to be funny. Okay, so we do have to grow wheat for the chickens. Oop. Oh, I also noticed this, by the way. The weather service has reported that we're getting this really weird pressure system coming through. Look at this. It's just totally weird. I was talking to the guys at the, uh, at the shop before we started recording here. Um, and they were, they were totally baffled by it. But their biggest worry is there's a dam upstream. And they're like, man, if it rains that much, what's going to happen with the dam upstream? I was like, I don't know. I'm no engineer. Even though, you know. I sort of am, but I'm not. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving swiftly on. So I need wheat and water for my chickies. My piggies need... Uh, mixed ration, grain, earth fruit, silage. Interesting. Uh, my cows, they do need water, so I'm going to have to get them some water. My sheep, grass and water. So I can, that's easy enough. I can go pick up a water tanker. I might pick up that cat water tank. What do you guys think? The, cats, the cat water tanker out of the cat fleet? That might be the way to go. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Hmm. 
You know, one smell I love is the smell of fresh cut grass. Such a nice smell. You're cutting nothing, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much, because I'm a terrible driver. All right, let me get that off the screen. All right, I don't really know why I'm doing this round in circles thing, but. Let's cut in a ways so that he actually has something to cut. Perfect. All right, I think we're doing really well. We gotta get a water tanker, so we're gonna have to go back into town. We're gonna have to walk into town because of the truck. Remember, you guys tell me, do I get my Ford back? Uh, only I would knacker that up right off the bat, right? So I'll go get water. What else do I need? I guess technically I could drive this New Holland into town, couldn't I? I'm thinking so. It has a beacon, right? I can't actually see the beacon. I don't know. <laughs> Theoretically, it has a beacon. Go. So some of you have been having problems loading this map, and I know why. And there's nothing I can do about it. But hold on. I, I understand, um, and don't worry, um, I, I, I will attempt to rectify the problem, one way or the other. Cow jokes. Cow jokes. All right. I also have to figure out how to get the latest, um, Beta 3 patch, 2.0 Beta 3 from uh, Giant on my game. Um, some reason, their auto installer doesn't think Farming Simulator 2013 is installed. I'm finding that hard to believe right now, but what do you know? It's looking like I'm going to have to reinstall Farming Simulator after I salvage all of my mod files and save game files. And then apply the patch. And I'm hoping the patch doesn't break anything. I haven't heard any reports of like massive breakage, but anytime you put a beta patch on, you gotta kind of cringe. Some of you ask for this more than once a week, ain't happening. Um, just look at the number of videos I put out on an average week. Where do you think I get the time to make another one of these videos, honestly? Um, unlike Stocko, who is currently between jobs, I am not. I do have a 40 hour a week job on top of what I do on YouTube, on top of the uh, physical training I do as well. So I can only do so much. Just, just putting that out there. I know I'm not getting all the grass. That's just the way it's going to go. I know I could also use the kid to get even more off of each pass, but... I mean, the kid is like, what? Three me two meters wide? Uh, how long would I be at this with a two meter wide piece of equipment? Forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. Now, I think I will bunker this grass. Because I'm thinking. I've, I've, I can actually talk and think at the same time, believe it or not. I'm wondering if I can use a front loader to remove grass from the bunker and put it into the troughs. Because if so, then I just get the cat front loader Bish bash bosh, done, right? That's what I'm thinking anyway. I'm making short work of this field. So if you want to play along and you want to play by the same rules, remember, you have to do the in-cab view. 
unless it's one of those really terrible mods that, that has no in cab, in which case you don't have to. Um, no tabbing between vehicles. No resetting vehicles. Transport the vehicles back from the shop. And when you sell, you have to transport to the shop. So I can't just sell that Ford and trailer out of there. It would just be a lost cause. Uh, I really like you guys allowing me to reset that, by the way. But whatever. Now, I think I got to turn this grass if I want to make hay out of it. But I don't want to make hay out of it. I want to make grass out of it because I'm feeding sheep. Right. That's the plan. I pay attention to the words I say. Uh, I like my new Holland. I know some of you want John Deere. I don't actually have any John Deere mods loaded right now. So there you go. I think I did like so many John Deere mods in season two of the mod spotlights. And none of them won, so... I don't carry them over unless they win. Some of you have been asking me to do the uh, giant mod contest. Yes, I will. Um, it's going to take me some time. Again, remember, I've got... Uh, let's see. I'm recording this early this week. And this is the week of week ending August 18th. So this goes live on the 17th. I have one and a half weeks before I'm in Seattle for PAX. So I got a lot to do. <laughs> got a lot of things I have to get taken care of before I leave for Seattle. And then I'm home for two and a half weeks before London, three weeks, something like that, before London. So not a lot of time. this we're almost done my swaths made behind us stuff missed everywhere because I'm a derp driver this wasn't so bad though I like the idea of really focusing on animals pigs look like they're gonna be a real pain in the butt We'll figure something out, though. He can do it. I do know I need a livestock trailer to transport them. I know that. Okay. There, that should... Yep, got it all. I just got to clean up these uh, messes I've made. up one row here. <laughs> Not the best thing in the world, but you know, whatever. Go through a bush. Yeah, I got it. Did it actually cut all that? It did cut all that. Okay. Okay. I know, I could probably go faster than nine miles an hour, but come on, guys. It's me. All right. So I can actually clean this mess up. Oh, my goodness, I've done a terrible job. Okay. Well. <sighs> well, look at you two. Don't hire me for lawn mowing, that's for sure. Don't hit the, ma the milk. Yep, okay, go. Yeah. All right. Looks good, looks good. Right. 
at this guy over here that's just sort of hanging out. Slurp. <laughs> uh, all right. This will be a pain in the butt to pick up now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, well. What do you do? Okay, so I need to get something to pick up all of my grass. And I need to transport that back to the farm without my Ford truck, because my Ford truck is sitting and stuck on a trailer. Stupid trailer. Um, hmm. Looks like I'm buying a transporter, which actually, if I'm going to be doing wheat, I'm going to need something big anyway, so I, mean, I might as well just bite the bullet and do it, right? All right, miss that one. Okay, you have to admit, I didn't do too terrible. I mean, it's not the best job in the world, but it's not like, it's not the worst either. Get that. Okay, so let's stop the tractor. Uh, shut off the mower. And shut off the mower. Oh, turn off the mower. Ah, some semblance of a silence. All right, so let's raise that mower. And transport position. Nice. All right. Let's head back to the farm. I didn't do too bad. I think I did a really good job for my first attempt. Okay, so we have forage, silage, straw, grass. So I think I can just dump grass in there. And it just stores it for me, which is great. I need to get water for my sheep. Not sheep. Yes, my sheep. But I also need to get water for the chickens. I need to plant some wheat, which does mean I need a plow. Which I think also need, really means I need another tractor. There we go. I'll just park them like that. <laughs> not the best job in the world, but whatever. All right, so let's, um, ugh. all right, we're thumbing a ride. Hello? Ugh. Why is it nobody's on the road today? It's 8 a.m. in the morning. Ugh. All right, so I would say I'd pause, but then you guys would think I just tapped or something. What's up? How's it going? Whoosh. Yeah, they see that the dam is up there somewhere. Look at all those clouds. Looks like it's raining up there already. Huh. Anyway. Not to be worried. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. Bentley. It was some seriously nice cars. How's it going? I like how it just the sidewalk just ends. That's kind of how it is in Appalachia, by the way. It's just the sidewalks just end for reasons of new. That's really it. It's the only reason. Um. Yeah. We need wheat. Wheat to feed the chickens. Huh. I think we'll buy another, uh, another field. And, uh, like that's just an open for me, but it opens for cars. 
All right, so let's start with, let's look and see. We have that field. If we pick up that field right there, that's a pretty small one. What is that, 12? If we pick up 12 and plant that with wheat, that could be the chicken's wheat. Or plant that in wheat. I thought that was, the, wasn't that the plan? That plant that in wheat. Yeah, that was the plan, plant that in wheat. Pigs need root vegetables, which we might plant that in potatoes. Oops. 24. We might plant 24 in potatoes. Huh. We'll have to think about that. All right, so. Hey, guys, we're back for shopping again. Um, let's see here. We need... Oh, we need so much stuff, don't we? We need to plow. Pretty good sized field, right? Uh, we could get the... Do you want to get the cost to plow with? Hmm. That seems a bit of an overkill, honestly. Uh, all right, so let's start with, let's get the, now, I know somebody really wants me to get the bull nose, but, no. All right, is this the water tanker? Milk, water, and beer. <laughs> yeah, it's the water tanker. Okay, so we're going to need that. Oh, wait, there's the water tank. Okay, so that's the one we want right there. Uh, Here's the silly thing. I think I'm going to have to go back and watch my own mod spotlights to remember which one of the trucks had rear view mirrors. <laughs> uh, we can get the gold hoffer or the cat low loader. $80 a day. $15 a day. I'm actually feeling that. I'll pay the extra for the lower, the lower work cost. So let's pick up Goldhofer. You can pick up the Kenworth has mirrors. That's really important to me since I'm going to be in the cab. As much as some of you might not like it, we're going to pick up the Kenworth. So there we got the Kenworth. Um, I need to pick up. Filled with grass straw chaff. Okay, we do need that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to tractors. I'm gonna buy a cheap but cheerful tractor. Um, he says, searching desperately for the cheap but cheerful tractor. I don't really have a cheap and cheerful tractor. I was going to say I was going to buy a tractor and just leave it here at the, the store for loading and unloading things that need to be lifted, but not really seeing it. Okay, we need a tractor to pull our plow, and we want a decent tractor for that. Let's take... I'm so indecisive. Ah, screw it. Let's take the class. All right, so plows. Plows, plows, plows. So I want the five furrow plow and a push plow. Or do I just want the, I'm just gonna take the five furrow plow. Okay, so that's those. 
Now, here, sewing machines, not happening. I'm going to use an in-game sewing machine because these two are just not going to work. So just so you know, sewing machines is going to happen by buying an in-game sewing machine. Same with muck spreaders because none of these have any muck. Well, I guess muck spreaders don't really matter. Yeah, so it's really it's really the sewing and the wind rowing. That's going to be and tedding. That's all going to be in-game stuff, unless I pick up a mod between now and whenever I need to use it. Um, we're also going to pick up our class quantum. 